Thanks for checking out the web show. Awesome fun to catch up with an absolute genius in Simon Reynolds in the world of advertising. He's also an author with a book, Why People Fail, and here's a small example of one of the ideas from Simon. At first, only gays and IV drug users were being killed by AIDS. But now we know every one of us could be devastated by it. The fact is, over 50,000 men, women and children now carry the AIDS virus. That in three years, nearly 2,000 of us will be dead. Yeah, so there's a small example there from the late 80s, Simon's take on the AIDS virus in Australia. I think it won the best ad in the world award or something like that. Quite incredible. So it was on a night in LA at the Red Bull factory. And as usual, I was uh, very well prepared for the chat and his Simon. I've got no idea what's going on here, so what is happening? In, in this event? Yeah. Well, what they've got is four prominent Australians yeah. who are doing well in the States and they're being interviewed about their life. So they've got a screenwriter, they've got a media personality and they've got a couple of people I've never met. Are you one of them? You've, well, you've done alright. Look, I, I was, I, I uh, was, I went to the last one, and I was uh, the questioner, whatever they call him, the host. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now I'm sitting in the back heckling. Okay. Mate, the show I do online is all about stories. So I know your story is a long one, but uh, how did it come about briefly? You getting into the advertising world and, and the creative force? Sure. Well, I mean, basically, uh, as a kid, my mum allowed me to watch Bewitched on TV and I was watching Darren uh, you know being in advertising as part of Bewitched and I thought man this is easy I'll do it. It's amazing. Yes. <laughs> I know. What a crazy story. Yeah, it's bizarre yeah. and it's not that much different from the show too. Wow. So what's been some of the cool moments for you because I'm sure you've worked all around the world like has there been some magic moments in the career so far? Yeah look you know opening in New York was great. Um, going public on the Australian Stock Exchange was great and um, just funny times doing ads that have gone wrong or presenting ads that the client thinks are just absolutely terrible or <laughs> dancing in a meeting to try and convince people to do stuff. I mean, there's so much stuff. Okay, and speaking of the stuff that did go well, I remember an ad with the Grim Reaper and a bowling ball. Uh, tell us about how that one came about, one of the best ads of all time. Oh, the AIDS ad, yeah. Basically, uh, I was doing a lot of bowling with my friends and um, I was looking, at, truly, I was looking at a way of killing a lot of people in the ad. And uh, I thought well, we could machine gun them, but that would be too short, they'd die too quick. And then I thought, well, why don't we bowl a bowling ball at them? And that's how it all started. And that ad won a few awards? It won, it won a few awards, absolutely, and hopefully saved a few lives. That's awesome, man. And advice you'd have for someone out there that's thinking about getting into the field, like, say, advertising, um, what would you say to them? I would say uh, become a lifetime student. So study the best work in the world and just spend, we used to spend hours every day just seeing what was the best in America, what was the best in England, what was the best in Asia and filling our brain up with great ads rather than relying about uh, relying on what's around you which is not always good. Right. So you just give yourself the best work and put it into your brain. Good stuff man. Well uh, the last question is I love asking people about chasing dreams so for you what's the ultimate dream? Do you find that you've lived it or you still got massive challenges? What's the ultimate if you could live it for you? Well well, I mean, I'm nowhere near living, living what, what I want to achieve. Yeah. Um, my ultimate dream is uh, spiritual advancement. I'd like to become the, the highest level I, could, I can be as a human. Good stuff, man. Well, we're in LA. It's random. We're at Red Bull or something. But uh, yeah. what are you doing at the moment? What's going on for you in LA? Tell us. Uh, well, I've got an online education company and I coach people via Skype from around the world on, on business. So really, it's all about uh, teaching people, OK, if, you're, if you own a business, how do you make more money? How do you balance your life? How do you get stuff done? That type of thing. Good stuff. Well, great to see you here. Thanks for the chat. A pleasure. Fun.